brand new concept in saws. It, we call it the precision combo. It's a combination cut off saw and rip saw. As you see here in the video, we're, we're in the process of ripping plywood. Now it's switched around to a cut off saw, which is capable of cutting compound angles up to 16 inches in width, which has a great deal of travel for, for an underbench table saw. Here we're cutting a compound 45 degree angle. As a cutoff saw, it is much safer than a radial arm saw. It has a 10 inch blade with 16 inches of travel. Here, here we're in the process of converting it to a rip saw once again. It just takes a matter of a few seconds. There are detents which lock the saw in the rip position, each 45 and 90 degree cutoff position. Had a warped board here, you see a little chatter. Exterior grade plywood. On the rear, just like a wheelbarrow can be wheeled around, and it is only 28 inches wide when it's in the position shown here, and it's capable of going through a 2 6 door. Later on in the video, you'll see a, a tilt trailer with saw. Here it's being, the blade is being changed to a 45 degree angle. It has uh, a removable uh, throat block in the uh, top of the table and a narrow one can be put in and, the, and a, an eight inch dado head can be used on this saw. Here's a, uh, it's being shown the sawing of a two by six at a at a forty five degree angle. There's a two by twelve. Close together, and the blade is a long way from the bearings in this particular case. This cutoff saw has widely spaced bearings and the saw blade fits between the bearings. Therefore, it is much more precision as a cutoff saw than is a radial arm type 